Hi guys, this video is about quantum. The quantum manager has been around for three, four years or something like that. But I'm not sure, don't think I've made that many videos about it. And thanks to a tip of Ramin, I went back into the code and have a look what's possible. So if you Google this and you say, is there any information about Arclux and quantum changed look of an application with a quantum manager? So 1582, we just we could already see the date is two years ago, right? It's it's again well fine. Here you see it. 2020. So theming is of course fun. It's rising, right? So it's fun. And quantum, so let's go here, and this is the search for all the billions and billions of videos and this is the search for the thousands of videos just on our clicks so i would do a quantum here as well so there are already elements that we've explained these are already more recent seven months ago seven months ago so watch and all about our quantum what i am now going to explain is the following thing so if we launch quantum manager, there are things that are set. And you see, for example, that this one is transparent. Now it's okay, but it might be not okay, right? Choices. Super F7 is another thing. This is definitely not the look of arc so there's an arc theme here and this is the gnome dark theme so it's a different kind of theme so you can set with quantum manager tell him look if application x then do this and if application y then do that now if everything is set and that's of course also why we're here if everything is set you create yourself an arclix nemesis script and in personal settings there is no folder called quantum but when I do now git pull so set it and be done with it and make sure it's online so these are my personal settings of the folder dot config quantum so in oh sorry in control H in dot config quantum this is the default from Arconex, saying everything is arc dark. And there is only one thing that has been communicated here that VirtualBox should be using KV Gnome Dark. In the meantime, I learned already a little bit more. VirtualBox VM is something I would add as well. Now, the thing is, if you start changing all that, you want actually to have that later on. So basically, it's on my GitHub, set everything the way you like it, put it on GitHub, and later on you just can copy paste or with script 900 and just copy paste everything over and I don't have to think about it. Once set, it's set. So control V, replace, and these are my configurations. Telling him it has to be R dark, but there is a specific R dark folder, that's why the hashtag Right, virtual box, virtual box VM. So this is the real, this is the metal. The, sorry, the application itself. This one. But once you add a template, well, actually this one, that one. Okay. Once you start making your virtual box like this, well, when you click on it, it will become transparent. Well, depending if it's full screen or not. It's on my other screen now. So it, it tries to do some things here. But I like to set it so that it's not transparent. Now I can't, oh yeah, okay. There is a message on the other screen, two screens, right? So power off, bye. So I like to have VirtualBox to have the GNOME dark so I can read it very well. Otherwise it's bluish and whitish and it's not really nice, right? And all these settings that I've set here can be copy pasted. Have a look at it. And these are the dark settings and these are the gnome dark settings. 
Now you can also, of course, go for the application, Phantom Manager, and have a look. Since I've now copy pasted, he's gonna read these files and gonna say, okay, arc modified, select the theme, you select the theme you wanna have a look at, configure the active theme. And did I change something here? So here we have opaque. Here I've added that quantum manager and quantum also should be not transparent. So translucent is on. Opaque means not translucent. So this means if you run quantum manager, that's this application. And to be sure, I've added quantum as well. Anything quantum related shouldn't be transparent, basically, is the message. And then you can save any changes like this. It will go in those files. Same for other things. If you see something in here, they say, I'll have a go, right? And go change things. Remember that you need to save. That's one thing, but really reboot. Log out, yes, but some things you really need to reboot. So it takes a little bit more time. One thing at a time, because I click and then see the effect. Click, then see the effect. Reboot each time. So a little bit longer, but once it's set, right? Once it's set, it's set. So we have an R dark modified, and we have a GNOME dark modified, which tells the machine, hey, if your virtual box become black, GNOME dark, and all the rest is the default, is gonna be R dark. If you wanna change things, right? You have first to configure the active theme. This is your active theme. No, you don't want that. That maybe you want to have the GNOME dark in this case. Use this theme. Now you see what happened, right? Immediately. So that's dark. And then here we can say all kinds of things. Hacks, change this here, compositing. And here as well, let's see if we have that available. So here there is no mention opaque apps doesn't really say application themes so if we go here gnome dark modified virtual box on virtual box vm here it says look guys if if you wanna if this is gonna be started use a gnome dark so that's well we can save it nothing will happen but here you configure the kv gnome dark which is here right this one that one we're now talking about GNOME Dark. And each time you save something, yeah, the effect is in, can be found in the file somewhere. Like one of the easiest things to have a look at is, let's see, I have twice, twice open. Yep, twice open. Shouldn't be able, no, okay. It's not programmed, so it can be open double. Uh, this for instance, disable composite effects, which means no transparency whatever it's just opaque i don't want all these special things no composite effects it will be somewhere in here control find composite is false i do want it okay save composite is true and that's as simple as it is this is the the other file and this is the GUI but in, in essence we don't need the GUI if we know what to change where. So the point is again some promotion for the Articlex Nemesis repo. Whatever you figured out, whatever you like, keep it fine. Um, make sure that it's saved online and then copy paste it back on a clean install and you couldn't be any better. So remember the tip after changing all kinds of things, reboot, like really restart. All right, cheers.